Hey guys, making sure my phone is off. How's it going? Great to see you. I'm Angela Wolf. If you've never been here before, it is behind the scenes in the studio today. So a couple things. I'm making progress on putting the fabric away. In case you missed the organization part, <laughs> yeah. Don't do it like a closet where you take everything out and put it back. But I'm getting close to where I can actually share a photo. Very close, but not totally there. So welcome everyone, great to see you. I am live on Facebook and YouTube. Leave your comments, say where you're from. You never know, you might meet friends. We have done that too. And by the way, let's just say something about fishing. Your friend, your neighbor might be sewing or crafting next to you or fishing. So I just have a question. For all of you that like to fish, ice fishing is not one of my favorite things. I love fishing, as you know. I just cannot... And maybe some of you could give me a little insight into this to make me think this would be more fun. But this is kind of how this worked out last weekend. So Wynn has a little ice shanty thing. I guess that's what you'd call it, like a tent that you put on water. <laughs> yeah. So they snowmobile out there. And I'm <laughs> listening to, this is the proposal. Would you go ice fishing? Why would I want to go ice fishing? It's freezing out. Well, we've got this ice shanty, and you can sit inside, and there's a little place to sit. We could even bring a little TV, and I've got a heater. It'll be like 80 in there, and I'm sitting there listening to this, and then there's a cooler of beer, and there's, uh, let's see, what else? I think there was one more enticing thing, but as I'm listening to all of this, I'm sitting on the couch, very comfortable with a cozy blanket, a great book, a cup of coffee, a refrigerator with wine in it, a fireplace going. So all of the aspects of it's going to be hot and comfortable and great and warm and all of those things just did, does not excite me. <laughs> I absolutely cannot get into ice fishing. So if any of you have any pieces of wisdom for me that you would love to share to maybe change my mind, let me know. But at this point, I'm going to stick to the water and not the ice. So I just, I thought you would get a kick out of that because, um, I don't know, I told you I love to fish, but that's it. All right, so today this is what we're making. Lips with a zipper. I got this, I don't know when I got this, if it was a gift. If somebody gave me this as a gift and I forgot you gave me this gift, sorry. But it's so stinking cute for Valentine's Day. So I thought this would be a fun project. But this is like a glitter... It's not really a, even a glitter vinyl. The inside's super soft, okay? But I thought it would be fun to do it out of a different fabric, just a cotton that I had laying around, and I put a little batting on it. So I'm gonna show you how to make this, and uh, that's gonna be our little project today. Yeah, and it could be really fun for kids, or I'm going to do it, and probably put chocolates in it for win. Probably. <laughs> so hey guys, it's so great to see you. Like, everybody's on. Everybody's on YouTube today. Wowzer. <laughs> oh, nice to see you all. Okay, so are you ready? Heater on the ice, melting, no way. <laughs> Marianne, that was kind of what I was thinking. You know, some of these some of these guys have like, um, and ladies, by the way, have like a full house out there. They have couches and TVs and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's go make this, all right? And don't worry, you can ask your questions. I can't see all of them while I'm doing the tutorial, but I'll come back and check it out. Sound good? Just keep this in your mind. <laughs> hey, Beverly, what did... <laughs> You're so true, so true. You guys are all right. So I know that we are live on Facebook too, but for some reason the Facebook comments aren't coming in. So all of my friends on Facebook, if you can't see this, sorry about that. For some reason, it's not streaming live. So hopefully you are on um, on the YouTube side. And you'll be able to watch the replay anyway, so no worries. All right, so let's go take a look at the fabric, okay? I think it's this one. No, it's this one. Okay. So this is, it's 
some cotton fabric and then I have a batting. And I started to press this before we went live, but I'm just gonna bring this, get all the wrinkles out. All that steam. Okay, let's look at the back side. Get, so this is just a batting, fusible batting. And a cotton, it's like a, just a medium weight cotton fabric. So here are the little lips. And I'm gonna bring them over to the table so you can see the measurements if you wanna draw them yourself. You really don't need a pattern for this. So this is stuck on the back, which I wanted this to be just a little puffy, not just flat fabric. So let's go to the table and cut this out. All right. I'm just checking to see if the Facebook got on track. It did not, which is really weird. But all of you are on YouTube anyways, so no worries. And if I missed you on Facebook, sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It says it's on Facebook, but uh, oh well. All right, let's go back to the table. Yeah, Phyllis, uh, it's not showing Facebook on here at all, which is weird. It's saying that we're live on Facebook, but... We're not live on Facebook. Does that make any sense? You know what, though? They made some changes this week, and they asked if I wanted to test out their new pages uh, because I'm a public profile, and it said uh, they were changing something if I wanted to test it, so I said, sure. That's probably what went wrong. Never test it. Never. Never works out that way. All right, so let's go cut up those. Let's go mark our pattern. I'm not going to say cut up those lips. <laughs> let's go mark our pattern. All right, so here is my fabric. Okay, so this pattern is basically, just so you can see some measurements here, it's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches wide, all right? And then one, two, three, four, about four and a quarter long. But you can make this any measurements you want. So what I'm going to do is just mark half of my fabric because then I can fold it over and mark the other half. Bring this up here. Make sure you can see this okay. All right. Well, I guess I can just draw the whole thing. I'll use chalk so you can see this. It's not bad. <laughs> you can hear that iron, whatever goes off it. I'm like, whoa, what just happened here? All right, I'm just gonna cut this. I'll bring you just a little bit closer so you can see this. Hey, Wolfpack, if anybody is multitasking and has two screens open, will you just go put a message uh, maybe in the Angela Wolf Patterns group so people can know um, how to get onto YouTube in case they've never done that before since Facebook is not cooperating for us? Because my messages are going off and everybody's wondering where the live show is, and for some reason, it's not on there. Okay, so there's my lips. I'm going to need two of these because you need a front and a back. Okay. And I'm just gonna give myself a little seam allowance on here because I'm going to turn mine right side out. This one is sewn where the edges are raw. I'm not gonna do that. So now I need to give myself just a little bit more room.
All right. So there we have it. Looks pretty close to the same. And if you just wanna make sure both sides of your lips are the same, just fold this in half and just double check. Actually, I'm gonna fold it this way. That's pretty close. If anybody notices that, that's way, they're paying way too much attention, right? All right. So now it's just a little more curved here. Oh, thanks, Susan. All right, so now we're gonna mark this in half. And, and for all the wolf pack that's coming in late because we're not on Facebook, please don't worry, you'll be able to watch the replay of this. How wide do you want where you're gonna put the zipper? It doesn't really matter. This one kind of goes almost to the end. You want it where you can open it far enough that if you're gonna put I don't know, what are we gonna put in there? Chocolates or something? So you don't need a lot of room. Or I could give this to one of my sisters and put some lipstick in there. I don't know, Teresa, Julie, are you watching this? All right, so let's just measure. And I just have this here. About an inch and a half and an inch and a half. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to stitch a box. Because I'm going to stick my zipper inside of there. But if I stitch a box first, it makes it easier to press. How do I know? You just gotta trust me on that. So if my zipper teeth are going to be right down the center, it looks like my zipper tape is about, I can see how wide this is, so I'm just gonna give myself a guide here is about where the box will be so that way I can fold the fabric back which you'll see and tuck my zipper in there so let's go to the sewing machine and let's sew a box and by the way thank you Susan and everyone who is sending everyone over from Facebook to YouTube because I have no idea why we're not live on Facebook it says we are right there on the screen but we're not so I don't know, go figure. <laughs> That's about time we go to YouTube anyways, right? Okay, so now, and don't worry if you're late, you can go watch the replay. All right, I'm gonna go and sew this box. Meet you at the sewing machine. Now I'm using red thread, but you're st you'll still be able to see, okay? Usually I use a contrasting thread so you guys can see, but you're gonna be able to see just fine because the back side's white, and I'll show you the backside also as we go through this. All right, so I have a stitch length of 2.5, and I'm just going to stitch around this area I just mentioned. So it looks like that's lined up pretty good. Let's see, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my laser light on. For those of you that even have one of the older machines, this one has a grid, so I could line up that grid with this white line here. I don't know if you can see that okay. And then I know it'll be straight, but it's not quite on that, so I need to move it over just a little bit. Other way. There. So this line is lined up with this, and now I know my, I'll have a nice straight edge here. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. So do you see how I did that? Now, if this was over maybe this far, then I know that I would that I stitched too far. Or if this was this way, I would know I need to do a couple more stitches to get across. You want to make sure the box is the same on both sides. All right. And don't worry, you'll see the stitching from the wrong side here when I'm finished. Okay. 
All right, let's do a stay stitch right there so the stitches don't come out. All right, so from the back side, this is what we have. You can see that pretty good, right? Let's go back over to the table. And now we're going to cut. All right, so there's your stitch line. See that? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right down the center of that. So just fold it in half just a little bit. And I'm stitching to each end. And at each end, I'll write, I'll do this in chalk first. Think of a welt pocket or a, like a bound buttonhole. That's what I'm trying to say. You can see the lips, they're coming together well. Oh, you're at the wrong screen, sorry. Table. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. I'll start all over, you, you didn't miss a thing. All right, so here is the back edge. Uh, all you missed was me cutting just a little hole right there. And then from this side, this is what you did miss. I just drew little triangles at the end like this. See, like that? And now I'm going to cut down to the ends, but I'm gonna stop about this far from the edge. And then just do a little snip to each corner, not through, but to each corner. See, there's the edge there. And now let's go to this side. Get that thread out of the way. Snip to each corner. But not through. All right. Don't worry, I'll make sure I go to the right page this time, okay? Let me just get this off of here. Got it. Okay, now we're gonna go to the ironing board. And by the way, I talked to Philip last week and there's gonna be a really good giveaway coming up, so just keep your eye out on the newsletters coming out. I know it's not February 1st, but it'll be out sometime this week. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing back this area that we just cut. the clapper to keep that open and then I also want to press back these little corners and I'm going to press it from the right side just to make sure that it's even. It's looking good, okay? You can probably just see just as good from here. Now we have to put our zipper on here. So you want to be careful. You're, you do not want to stitch through this bottom section or these this section right here, the top, because that will break your needle. So I'm going to open this up just slightly. Just place this in place. And I'll be cutting off the top edge here of the zipper. And 
and we'll be cutting off the bottom edge. So I'm way out of the way down here and I'm way out of the way up here. Make sense? Now I could do this really properly and stitch from this side to hold this in place. And then I'm going to stitch from this side right down that pressed edge, which will hold that before I do my top stitching, okay? All right, to the sewing machine. All right, are you doing good? I'm cutting back the lips on the lips. Yes, Phyllis. <laughs> um, and all of you that are coming over from Facebook, I have no idea what's wrong. I'm not gonna say that anymore though, because the replay is gonna be like Groundhog Day, literally, which was yesterday. <laughs> okay, sewing machine. Let's hit it. And I'll take your comment down, Phyllis. All right, so I'm going to take down the laser. And for now, I'm just going to zip this out of the way. I know that I'm going to be stitching along this edge here. I'll fold it back. I'll put a pin in it so you can I can lift it up and show you. I think that'll be easier. My fingers are getting in the way. Okay, so this was the edge that we stitched, and that's the edge that we pressed. So I have that, pre I have it pinned along the edge of the zipper teeth, and then just pull your little triangles out of the way for now. Put on your zipper foot. sure you can see okay I sure appreciate your girls texting me and helping me out on this it's like having it's like having a camera crew here <laughs> and now that you're on YouTube by the way why don't you just subscribe to my channel and then you'll never miss when I go live because I'm always live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time and if Facebook isn't going to cooperate at least you won't miss the show plus you can watch it on your TV Okay, so I stitched along that edge, and then when I fold that back, you can see the zipper teeth there. I'm still pushing these little triangles out of the way for now. Now I'm just going to zip this closed just so I can get the placement for the other side. All right, so just fold that under. This is why I press it first. It just makes it so much easier. So hold this in place and just fold this back. That will tell you exactly where on the zipper tape that you're going to be stitching. And I'm going to give myself a couple pins. You know I'm not a big pinning person, but I'm going to pin, and then when I fold it back, I can tell if it's going to stay that way. Hey, Steve, does that look familiar? All right. And now if I open that up, it's just like this. All right, make sure that that is out of the way. So I'm basically stitching right along the line that I stitched with the box. That's one of the reasons that I do the box. It just makes it really easy when you're trying to figure out where to stitch and where to follow this line. You can stay stitch or back stitch, whichever one you prefer. Oops, I gotta cut my thread. All right, and this opens up. It's looking pretty good. Now go ahead and slide your zipper head right through here, just like this to open it up, okay? Because if I have it on the other side, when I go to close this out, I won't be able to get that back. So now I'm just gonna fold this back you see my little triangle here with that little tip that we cut? 
I'm gonna hold my zipper tape together and I'm going to stitch right across that edge that will hold all of this in place. And I, I, I'm gonna keep my zipper foot on here. It just makes it easier to get in the, get real close to that edge. Now, because you're stitching over zipper teeth, be very careful. I mean, don't stitch 90 miles an hour. I mean, our machines are really good, but. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, there's my stitch line. I want to get a little closer to where my previous stitch line. So I'm going to stitch one more. And I'm actually going to move my needle to the left position a little bit further. See, I'm pushing it away from the foot because I can't get the foot any closer to there. Now I can get a little closer. Do a stay stitch or do a back stitch, whichever you prefer. And when you get to the zipper teeth, make sure you keep those teeth close together. And you know, sometimes when I get close to those zipper teeth, I'll use the hand wheel to go over just to make sure that I don't hit something and break a needle. All right, that looks pretty secure now. So that's stuck down. So when I open this, this edge is closed now. I like this. I need to give it a little bit of a pressing here, but all right. Now we have to do the same thing on this side. Just fold this back. And just stitching across that zipper teeth. I'm using about a 2.5 stitch in case I didn't mention that. Okay, that secures that down. Now we have a nice opening, just like if it was a bound buttonhole, or you could do this for a pocket too, by the way. Now let's go back to the iron. We need to give it a pressing, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do some top stitching. All right, so pressing it is, and I'm gonna come and move the cameras. Exercise it is. Are you following along okay? All right, we're getting there. Okay. This is what it looks like on the back side. This is what it looks like on the front side. Give it a nice pressing. Open this up a little bit just to make sure everything's laid nice and flat. Making sure I didn't stitch too far on that fabric. No, I think it'll be fine. All right. All right now I'm going to do, go do top stitching just along the edge here. Okay? I know. Told you I was going to get my exercise today. I'm going to leave my zipper foot on and I'm going to change my stitch length now to about a 3.0 because I want it to look like a nice top stitch. And this white chalk that you see, this will go away. It'll just brush off. And I'm just going to do a stay stitch because I don't want the extra stitches for a back stitch. Go over those zipper teeth. I'm just going to use the hand wheel to get over that. Now let's go right down this edge. Just keep that zipper head out of the way. So what I'm doing is I'm stitching to hold the seam allowance down in place. Zipper head out of the way. I went just a little bit past, but you won't be able to see it because I am using red. So now that's nice and flat. 
there is our, actually the lips are like that. I guess it really doesn't matter. They kind of look the same either way, don't they? <laughs> okay, so on the back side, the next thing you're gonna do is just trim off your excess zipper tape. Just like that and like that. Okay. Now, if you wanted to make it look super nice, you could put fabric over the ends, but who's going to look inside of this, right? Nobody. I mean, even when you go inside, it's going to look like this in here, unless you decide to line it, which I'm not taking the time to do that. This is just a fun gift. All right, so here, now I have right sides together. My lips are smacking. And I'm just gonna put a pin in each edge just to make sure everything stays nice and flat as I stitch. Because it looks like my cutting's a little bit off on each side, but you know what? Who cares? Putting my needle back into the center position. And just using my regular J foot. And I'm just going to start at one end and go all the way around. And I'm going to give myself just about a quarter inch seam allowance. That's what I gave myself when I was sketching in this design. So it looks like I have a point at each end. Kind of like a triangle point, I should say. See how that looks there? And if the other side doesn't totally match, one thing you can do is go to the other side and I'm just gonna stitch one more time. Because sometimes if you have your curve, when you're sewing the same direction, then your curves will look the same. So now I'm on the back side, meaning this will make a similar point on this side. If you've never tried that, if you've ever tried sewing something like a collar or something like that, sometimes you flip it over and both sides stitch the same way, it looks, it works out so much better. All right, see, now there's my point and there's my point. There really isn't any trimming to do. It looks like I've got a little bit up here that could probably go away. There's no need to snip the curves or anything. This is such a small seam allowance that it shouldn't matter. All right, and hopefully you remember to keep your zipper open or you might have a problem. Let's go to the table and flip this thing around. Actually, I'll take you back to the ironing board because then I can give it another pressing before I show you the final product. Here you go. So what I'm doing is I'm flipping this right side out through that little hole we have. Well, this is gonna be really cute. I'm gonna go to this side.
And you know what I'll do for you guys is that um, I'll trace these. I'll trace these lips and put this on my blog, so you can just go and download it. How's that? So it'll be like a pattern. I think I can do that. If I can't, I'll I'll drop it in our Facebook group. All right. Open it up. It'd be perfect for a little card. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. All right, hold on a second. Now. <laughs> because this is warm, I just pressed it. I have to be careful, but I can put the chocolates in here for a win and a little card. And there's my kiss for him. Kiss, kiss. Isn't that cute? Okay, so much fun. <laughs> oh gosh, oh yes, metallic thread would have been super cute around that. Very fun. Also, the other thing I was thinking of is those that have um, the Luminaire or even the Dream Machine or any of the machines where you can scan in an image or you can take a photo. Tomorrow at noon, we're live with Jerry Granada. I'm live with Jerry Granada, not we. <laughs> Me, myself, and I are live with Jerry on the Brother page. So hopefully Facebook behaves tomorrow. If not, be sure to check out their YouTube page because it's live on both. But I think what I'll do tomorrow is I'll have this sketch and let's scan it into the machine, add some stippling to it, and you can even do the whole thing in the hoop. That would be cool. So I think I'll add that tomorrow if you guys want to see another way to do it. Uh, just something fun to do on your machine. But this is for anyone with any machine, you could do this. So isn't that fun? I totally agree, Lisa. So cute. I think I should make a few more, send them over to my nieces. Well, actually, I have three nieces. <laughs> send them one way to Grand Rapids and one way to North Carolina. That would be a great uh, Valentine's gift. So I know that some of you rolled in and you're like, what the heck happened? I have no idea why we're not live on Facebook. It says we are. I'm looking right at the screen, but it's not going through for some reason. So I apologize for that. But as you all know, if you want to make sure you get a notification, click subscribe down below here and because I'm always on YouTube at the same time. So this way, you'll never miss one of these episodes. And also, if you go to AngelaWolf.com, and I will work on this uh, this afternoon to put it on the blog. You'll be able to watch the whole replay uh, there or here on my YouTube channel, and I'll make sure I put the pattern for you. Definitely. Oh, Phyllis, you should use a fishing. That's a great idea for the zipper pull. That's a great idea. In fact, I have quite a few of those, right? <laughs> I gave Wynn, remember, a little corner of the basement for his man cave? I think I'll go down there and get one of those old lures that he never uses anymore. That's a wonderful idea. Ah, you guys are brilliant. If you top stitch around, it will have no raw edges on the inside. That's true, Karina. That is true. If I top stitch around the edge, you mean? That's a good idea. I like that. Oh, wow. You guys are really getting creative. Actually, he would love that. Insert a homemade coupon card for a back massage. Okay, I think that's golden. He's going to love the Wolf Pack. When I tell him where all of these, it's gonna be chocolates, a card, back massage. <laughs> He's gonna think he went to heaven. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, great to see you, June. So all of you, it's so nice to see you. So I still see your comments here. It's just not quite the same as Facebook, but it, I still see you and it's just as awesome. So by the way, I think embroidering would be a great idea on that <laughs> virtual hug. <laughs> I love that. So I did find another fabric, if you want to look at it real quick, that I think would be another idea. So when you're going through your stash, I'm just trying to use up stuff I have. I didn't want to go shopping. So come over here and take a look at this. You might remember when I was working on this a while ago. This is satin. And do you re I was doing free motion embroidery on here. It's really hard to see in the camera because it's so bright. But this is a stretch, a stretch satin. This would be gorgeous in that. So I might cut out a few more uh, just for gifts 
for my family. And uh, this would be another fabric I could use. This here, this actually has metallic thread on it. And I love that idea of using metallic thread on there. So watch for the tutorial tomorrow when I work on scanning it into the machine, because that will be fun. All right, any questions for you guys? <laughs> From you guys? So I will drop this video so you, everyone who missed it that wasn't here on Facebook, I apologize, but it's out of my control. I have no idea what happened here. That's what I get for trying the beta version of something new for Facebook. They ask, I tried, and I think I'll have to go back to the old version. <laughs> and also, so the schedule for the week, tomorrow I am live with Jerry Granada on the Brother page at noon. And then tomorrow at 4 p.m., Fashion Sewing Club, we are going to make a cowl neck tank top. It's the one that Karina brought up. She showed the photos. I love that tank top. It even has some cute things on the shoulder. You could also make it long sleeve if you want, but we're going to make that top. We're going to make the pattern, cut it out, and next week we'll sew it. So everyone, have a wonderful day. It is so nice to see you all. And I'm making sure I don't have any <laughs> questions I'm missing. What did you use for the backing? Oh, Darlene, for that um, red satin, I didn't, let me show it to you again. <laughs> I guess I gotta take you with me, right? <laughs> uh, how about here? If I can remember which one's what. So on this one, I just used, um, this is just a batting, just a white batting, inexpensive. And that's all I put on the back for that. Yeah, fun, right? Oh, you were right. <laughs> Susan, I am betting she used batting she had on hand. I did. Now, for the lips one, I used a fusible batting. And I just had some on hand. I always have little pieces laying around. So, and that's uh, fusible on the back. Oh, thanks, Lorraine. That's a good idea, Karina. Put a D-ring on the edge of, didn't somebody mention that yesterday? We should put a D-ring on those lips and put earbuds in it. I think Laura said that yesterday on the show. That's a good idea too. Uh, Marianne, is that noon your time? Yeah, I'm sorry. All the times are Eastern. So tomorrow is noon Eastern and Thursday, and then the Fashion Sewing Club is 4 p.m. Eastern. And then also some of you have asked uh, for over the last year, I kind of pieced together. You want um, an, you had an interest in like mini virtual classes. Uh, some people aren't in fashion sewing club, and they said that's too much that they don't you know they don't have time to watch all that, but they want to have it something just focused for a topic. So I have just launched three new classes for you. There's a surging 101, and it's a 90 minute virtual class. There is a creative surging, which will be next month. And then also Cindy Hogan and I are doing an embroidery 101 where we're, at, we're showing you how to work with three different fabrics. We're gonna talk about stabilizer, needles, thread, and also these are all 90 minute classes. You'll have time for Q and A at the end. Uh, they're inexpensive classes. So I just listed those. So they'll be on the website tomorrow. And Fashion Sewing Club members, it's already listed in your page. So if you go pop in there, you'll see those. Uh, but I'll make sure you get all these. They're all, I think the first one starts in a week and a half or something like that. But don't worry, you won't miss it. It's going on the website and you'll get a newsletter about it. But I just want to give you a heads up. Something fun is coming and also a fabulous giveaway. So have a wonderful day. I'm just making sure. I think I got all of your questions. It's so great to see you all. And have a wonderful day. Oh, Mary just got her her COVID vaccine. Congratulations. I think I'll be on like the schedule for like uh, December of 2025. <laughs> but I, I, I just am telling you, I'll probably be at the very end of the line. But that's all right. Everyone else needs it a lot more than I do. I don't go anywhere. Uh, Michelle, if you're in the Fashion Sewing Club and you missed the live, is there a way to go back and rewatch? Oh, yeah. So, Michelle, um, all, of, all of the Fashion Sewing Club videos after they're live, go right into the Fashion Sewing Club. I think, what do you guys say? There's like 250 videos in there or something like that. So every virtual live that we have goes into the Fashion Sewing Club. You can rewatch them at any time. And then you also get discounts. 
to a lot of different stores. You get discounts to all the other little mini classes and stuff like that. So, yep, anything, and even on these classes that we're doing, those will stay up for quite a while. So you won't have to worry about, you. like you'll have, I think, Two of them are going to be good for, I think it's like 90 days or something like that, that they stay up for. So you have plenty of time to go watch. Oh, welcome from Australia. All right, did I get that? Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, and you guys can message me too um, if you have any questions. So, all right, have a wonderful day. And don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then you won't miss the live, especially if Facebook doesn't behave next week. Okay? See you later.